I open up our drapes in our master bedroom and I will never forget this. It was such a moment for me. And um, we are like directly across the highway from just an unobstructed view of the Persian Gulf. I don't know, it was just something incredibly sacred for me. And it was like, oh, God's brought me somewhere that is gonna be um, a place of connectedness and a place where I can just be quiet and decompress. We walk in and we are asked to put on an abaya, a long black silk garment and a head wrap and take our shoes off. And um, we are immediately introduced to our tour guide, Fatima. And um, she is just our tour guide, just me and this other Navy wife. It's very personal and she's gonna walk us through the mosque. She is like 19 years old, we find out. She's very young. She's this tiny little, almost looks like a girl. She's so slender and so petite and so small bird-like in this long flowing black abaya and she's completely covered, completely covered except for her eyeballs. That's the only thing on her you can see. And so we're just following her around and she's taking us through the mosque and showing us different features of the mosque that were all just, I mean it's just stunning. I can't necessarily remember what my ex expectations were going into this experience but maybe I was thinking about it more like a museum. You know, so you'd walk through a museum and you kind of see some cool artifacts or see some cool things. But it's very factual, it's very cerebral, it's not really experiential in terms of like, why I was so moved. And so I think it really caught me off guard as we're walking through and she's kind of telling us not only about the beautiful elements in the mosque, but also about, um, she's kind of um, explaining her faith as she does this in a way that was, um, I felt like very engaging and very interesting. We get to this area where there's, it's kind of the main prayer hall, and then she turns to us as she's kind of pointing out these prayer areas, and she has tears in her eyes. And I will just never forget this moment because it was a moving moment for, for, for all three of us, really, that were there. And she said, um, people think that we do these prayers out of fear or out of duty, and it's not so. We do these prayers because they are our offering and they are our worship to God. And I, I think, I don't even remember anything that happened the rest of the tour because that was like such a moment. And um, I think what I heard in that was that I am someone of real and devout faith who is seeking God. And in that way, I am no different than you. And I do it out of a sincere desire, not out of a duty. And it hit me right between the eyes because of how long in my life I had spent time looking to God, worshiping God, coming to God out of obligation and duty. And I felt here's this 19 year old Islamic woman who has taught me more about what it means to have an authentic desire for God and to act out of that than, than literally any sermon I had ever heard. And in some ways, I've said this before, that was kind of a, one of my first moments of truly believing, I think, because it, it, it just reminded me that what true believing is, is seated in desire and not out of obligation. And that was a very powerful moment for me and, and something that I'm not sure that I could have heard in that same way just sitting in a church. It, it took a woman in a veil <laughs> uh, walking through a mosque um, to help me realize that.